you know, I came out and decided I wanted to attack, you know, and just really get after it. And uh, found some rhythm in my delivery and just felt really good about it. Hitting 99 miles per hour in that first inning. Were you a little extra amped up tonight? Uh, really, I just kind of uh, was working uh, with my mechanics, you know, and found that the delivery that I wanted to find. And this allowed my arm to come through and um, just being really aggressive. Who found that in the delivery? Was it you or was it a combination of you and Larry? Uh, I was just watching some video the other day and I was like, hey, that looks different. What What's different about that? And uh, I just kind of thought about it and saw saw the differences between a couple starts I had against Boston in previous years and decided that, that you know, this delivery that I saw was the one I wanted to repeat. And uh, that's when I'm at my best. Is it good just to have that kind of performance or is it a bigger deal because it's against Boston? Uh, you know, it's a big deal because it's against Boston, especially being here. Uh, you know, we want to beat Boston every time. It's a big rivalry. Um, but, you know, it's a big start for me just to get my feet under me and uh, show myself that I can, I can be here and do this. Did you know from the get-go you had your best stuff? Um, I felt after that first inning, I was like, I, I've got some good stuff tonight. You know, I threw some, uh, some good cutters, some good curveballs, and I knew that I felt the fastball was there, too. How much does throwing the fastball like you were tonight, how much does that kind of lay the foundation for everything else? Uh, it's big. You know, everything comes off my fastball. And, uh, you know, because I was throwing hard, they had a cheat to it, and that allowed me to, uh, you know, throw the breaking ball later in the game and get some chases on that because they're cheating to the fastball. And then when I'm when I'm throwing that uh, that fastball like that, it just everything plays off of it. So you, you were hitting 99 there in the last your last inning. That small change makes that much of a difference, even that deep into the game. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's just I find that rhythm, and then I feel like I can just go all night. You know, I, if I get my body in the right spot. Um, it just feels like it comes out pretty easy. You mentioned that you proved that you can do it here in New York. Was there any amount of doubt in your mind that you could get it done here? Uh, no, you know, I think it was just I felt like I was searching before this, and, uh, you know, I felt like I really found something tonight. Uh, you know, Romine did a fantastic job behind the plate, calling the pitches. Uh, we worked really well together, and uh, the boys made nice plays behind me, too. You pumped your fist and sort of yelled at the end of the fourth, get it the second and third, the line up on it, and the strikeout. What was the feeling like that when you finished that inning? Yeah, you know, I felt like that was a big spot in the game. You know, we, we were ahead of them, but uh, I didn't want to let them back in at all. And uh, I feel like keeping them, uh, keep putting a zero up right there was big for the team and, uh, you know, allowed us to keep going and add on after that. James, you mentioned wanting to be aggressive. Uh, why isn't that, shouldn't that be like the mindset for every start, like I need to be aggressive, and if not, why this start? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you want to be aggressive. I think that it's easier said than done. Um, you know, you go out there and you try to be perfect or you try to hit your spots and, you know, you're trying to, to aim the ball instead of just being aggressive. And I'm, I'm my best. I actually make better pitches when I am aggressive and uh, attacking the strike zone. Um, but, yeah, like I said, easy, easier said than done in, in some cases. Feel like a confidence back to the roles when you do feel like you have the good stuff and the mechanics are clicking where you can do that more. Does that, I guess, help with that aggression? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it helps kind of finding that in my, my delivery and uh, being able to be aggressive in that delivery really helps. So what was the end of the eighth inning like for you walking off hearing that ovation? That was awesome. You know, it was special. Um, it's, I think it's a little different than anywhere else being in Yankee Stadium and getting that uh, getting that ovation. The fans were uh, were great all night. Uh, could hear them and uh, just added a lot of energy. It was, it was awesome.